Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy, Stumped, back for another Opic TC video, and in today's video, we're taking a look at level 90 Pirate King Adventures against CP0 Aegis with the EXP Double Momo team to help you big old grinders get that pirate level up if you guys are looking to farm your PKA every single day. And honestly, I would highly recommend doing so. Like, once you hit level 150, use your three stamina every single day, go into the game mode, and at least get to the final boss whether or not you actually fight the final boss at level 90 like you are about to see right here, at least get there to try and maximize your EXP gains, your green tickets, as well as your turtles every single month. But that's the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive on in. Now, as always, we are using Double Momo. Um, Marco is another really good option, but with the boosted list being the PK Luffy and the PK Whitebeard, I feel like they're going to be boosted every single month, which is great. Because both of them are a free spirit and a slasher. And that way you can use them under Momo. Whitebeard is fantastic for stage 4. And Luffy is fantastic for stage 5. As for replacements for these particular units. They are quite hard to replace. Especially the Whitebeard. So if you guys don't have a stun remover or barrier remover that isn't Whitebeard. You guys might struggle here. And um, rightfully so. Because it's a very annoying stage. But as for Luffy. He's, he's easily replaced with any unit that can remove a special bind for the final stage. But as you can see, you can just like single tap your way to stage three. Getting to stage three is very easy. And on stage three, you get a full board of empty orbs. Your captains get despaired for six turns and your right hand column gets blinded for six turns as well. This will go down to three after sockets. So with Conjuro and Rayleigh, you can get around the despair and it works quite nicely. Once you do kill this stage, um, Luchi, Kaku, and Stussy are going to remove all your positive effects. Now, this is very annoying because ideally we want that attack boost on the fourth stage. Unfortunately, we don't have it, which is actually a monster problem, but it's not the end of the world. Now, you do get stunned on your friend captain with this particular turn. You also get one turn of special reverse as well as, uh, four turn or three turns of paralysis. So with the Nami support, we can get around one turn of paralysis and give ourselves one turn of cooldown thanks to us using a Yamato. And then we have Izo and Kiku on Whitebeard to remove the other two turns of paralysis. Whitebeard can get around the stun while he halves your HP. He also gives us chain boundary. And then we can use level limit break five carrot to use a captain swap mechanic. So she becomes our captain. As you guys saw, I used... Uh, the super type of Momo first to give myself a full board of Wano slots, so it was a much easier kill. And then Carrot's also going to give us a, a, an orb buff here. Now, with level limb break 5, Carrot stays captain for 3 turns. I'm not sure if that's a 6 plus thing. If it's a 6 plus thing, awesome. Uh, but if it's level limit break thing, then she's quite hard to replace. On the final stage, there is uh, resilience, a barrier, and then 20 turns of threshold. So that's why Carrot as captain is very, very handy. She's going to get through the threshold. If you guys kill the back units, it does go away. Um, but you'd have to use something like V1 Mihawk to try and make that happen. Uh, and I just don't know if the cooldowns will be there for a unit like that. But hey, you definitely could try it. We have an attack boost with Momo. We have an orb buff with Luffy and a base stat. Plus, we remove the special bind with Luffy. It all works out pretty nicely here. Plus, with uh, Yamato, she gets around the resilience. You kind of have to because if you don't get around resilience... You're not going to break the barrier, and then the end of turn damage of Momo is not exactly going to work. So that's the big reason that she's here. If your captain is Saw in, she gets increased damage taken, which unfortunately we don't have because of Carrot. But if the damage is pretty easy on stage 4, you could definitely save Carrot for the final stage, and then utilize uh, the Yamato to the full potential there. But that's going to wrap up the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to go down there, belt the like button for me, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Most importantly, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later!